I should never have taken that part. <laughs> I guess that's part of the reason I really wanted to do this evening, Karen, was okay. because I know you've done so many films, and yet on some level, it's this one that people always talk about, and it's, it really was, it was... And it's it unjust. What? <laughs> Did I just say just? No, it's unjust. It's it just, is unjust. I went into a dentist's office the other day, and this little girl behind the computer, and she goes, it's her, it's her, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was 40 years ago. Can we... It's true. Let it go. They were really terrible special effects people. They were just awful. They, they used to throw the doll. And um, they, had this, they had a whole, like, this, the floor, you know, like this, this high, and, and a little... Um, thing through the floor and then the little thing, thing up the, you understand me? And, and, the, and the Zuni doll would run along and then it would stop and the f head would fly off. <laughs> stop and the leg would fly off. And the whole set would start laughing about the Zuni doll. Then they said, how are we gonna get the blood on your hand from the knife? And then they would, it was a father and son, they were fussing and fussing. I said, hey, I've got an idea. Why don't you put the blood on my finger first? <laughs> and I'll hide the finger. And then after he goes like this, I'll turn it and you'll see blood. <laughs> and that's what they did. <laughs> well. Thank you for letting us show that clip. Oh. Um, In 1975, you started a John Schlesinger film I know, called The Day of the Locust. Oh, wow. And it's, it's such a disturbing, creepy film. I think it's the best film about Hollywood. Oh, I do. It, it just freaked me out. Not my Hollywood. Well, no, but I meant that. I love Hollywood. I love Hollywood. Everybody's <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> I've always been treated beautifully. Well. Well. I'm glad you have. <laughs> <laughs> you had something to do with all this. But, um, no, but your character is very, very, very complex. I mean, one minute you're lovable, then you're kind of hateful. It's just, it's, it's, it's just, if you haven't seen this movie, you really need to see. You're incredible in it. And um, it also stars um, um, Burgess Meredith plays your dad. He won an award, I think, for it. He won the Academy Award. He won the Academy yeah. Award. He's incredible. I mean, I only knew him as the Joker. Oh. You know, I mean, not the joke, it's Penguin, the Penguin on Batman as a kid. Well, he has a, a, an illustrious career exactly. as an actor, and of course, you brilliant know, actor. Yeah. Realize, oh my God, the Penguin yeah. is amazing. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was, he was incredible. Um, and, he was um, so good that in one scene, you know, there's a scene where I, as his daughter, walk in and take his hand and he's lying on the couch, <laughs> very ill. And he was so um, creating being ill that his skin and hand, his arm and his hand, were not only cold, but clammy and wet. That's how much he could create. He was incredible. I loved him. You could, you, and in the film, too, the... the I used to write poems and let him, and have him read them. And you, would, he would write, you would write poems? I'm always writing them. poems, and I would just share poems with Burgess. I was there when he auditioned. Uh, Schlesinger used to like to have me sitting with him when, when people would audition. And um, trying to think, the other man who auditioned, who played um, this the, in um, Wizard of Oz, he played the Ray Scarecrow. Bulger. Ray Bolger auditioned. And he was very, very wonderful. And how they auditioned was they had, of course, um, my husband, Burge, uh, my, my father, Burgess, oh my God, what would Freud say? <laughs> Goes to the door, goes, is a salesman, and they had lots of doors and, and steps, and, and so Ray Bolger and Burgess. And Burgess made all these bathroom jokes. He kept opening a door and making bathroom toilet paper jokes, and, and John thought that was the funniest thing he ever heard in his life. And he had to have Burgess, so he had Burgess. Oh, and he's quite wonderful. Yeah. Um, in this scene, you're in a club, and actually, there's a drag queen in this movie, um, a performer. I don't, do you remember that? No, I'm looking. This face is because I wonder. My mother's in this movie, except the, the. Um, that's not funny. <laughs> my beautiful mother. 
No, but we had, you know, um, extra people learn to be seen. They learn to be so. If I'm, if I'm an extra and, and I'm in a scene with you, it's, how are you? How are you doing? <laughs> Hi. Oh, God, let me give you a little hug. Oh, I love you so much. So they, they're always seen. And, and they, he hid my mother's face, so I've always, I always wonder if, it's, if you're going to show me that scene. Oh, well, it's a scene where... Um, you see my mother's neck. You're in a club, and um, the, your next-door neighbor who's in love with you, but you're now living with Homer, uh, played by... Donald Sutherland. Donald Sutherland. And he... Um, and, and you're sort of using him, and he's using you, and, yeah, yeah. and then and it's so weird, and then um, your, your neighbor's in love with you, and you're in this club with the both of them, and you're dancing with your neighbor, and he's trying once again to create, uh, to, 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 to have you move in with him. Okay. Something like that. Okay. Okay? Yes. So we'll watch that. Thank you. That guy's superiority is driving me nuts. He loves you. Yeah, he's such a boob. Why'd you move in with him in the first place? Well, I'm not sleeping with him if that's what's eating you. So what's the point? Come home with me. No. You can tell him something. No. Sneak out. I can't, honey. Why? I don't love you that way, sweetheart. You know how I am. Please. I want you for a friend, Todd. I need you as a friend. Pretend you still work for Audrey. That... They were total strangers. You don't understand anything, do you? Want to move in with me? <laughs> you don't know anything about me at all, do you? You want to get married? You don't know why I moved in with Homer. He's a decent man, and I was lonely, and he respects me, <laughs> and he doesn't want anything. Guys, <laughs> what are you gonna do with a slob like that? <laughs> Thank you. It's a beautiful performance. Thank you. And um, and I I don't know I, I just at the end of the movie I, I love the the last image is, is that crack in the wall that this artist has stuck the flower into, and I just felt like that. For me, that's what so much of this town is about. It's you know cracked, and yet there's beauty in it. And I don't know. I just related to that image very much. Good. Cracked and beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I think Schlesinger meant that exact thing to happen. Actually, I think the reason that that scene, the truth is, the reason that that scene was shot was because it was an extremely unhappy shoot. Uh, this was a very, very unhappy shoot. Everyone was miserable. And Bill Atherton was, had had it. I don't know what had happened, but I Who think Bill, she, Bill the Atherton actor? played the, the red-headed boyfriend. Yeah. yeah. And he's, you know, a stage actor, uh, theater, Broadway, and so forth. And I think either John was giving him line readings or something, and he, it was enough. And I think it kept him from working for a while. It was so unhappy. It really... It kind of hurt people's lives, that movie, just like in the movie. Yeah. It was a real day to look. And he walked off. And so the last scene was meant to be in the script with him, you know. And in fact, he, so Schlesinger was kind of f funny. He said, OK, it's up to you. You've got to do it now. It's up to you. And, and um, he was very militaristic in, in, in the way that he would. But he's a very, very wonderful, beautiful, darling, darling man. And that was why that scene was there. And, and I felt really responsible. You know, I have a last scene in the movie. And, and, it, and it wasn't written like that. It's almost like it was meant to be in a way, that, that scene. But I'm sorry, okay. that was a nice. tough experience. I think I should tell um, you that um, I was very nearly nominated for an Academy Award for that picture. Um, <clears throat> I was at a cocktail party with my little baby uh, Hunter when he was small 
And um, um, the, he, and there was a man, at, you know, you, you stand there and you get all these little bits of things to eat, and there was a man across from me, and he said, I'm going to tell you this. I'm not supposed to tell you this. is cross, cross my heart. Cross my heart and open time. <laughs> Thank you. Um, he said, you were five votes short. And he said he's never seen anything like it. And that's all. It's interesting because in my mind, I always think that you were nominated for that. Well, bless then, you. Yeah, Let's just I, have that. I, I, yeah. <laughs> yes. You know what? That's very Poco. Just make it up. <laughs> I like it. And then it's true. And then it's true. I like it. Absolutely. Oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> you also appeared in Robert Altman's Nashville. <laughs> Genius. As country singer Connie White, and I know that you also, as in order to be in this film, you had to write your own song. Right. So you, along with everyone else in the film, were nominated for a Grammy. That's right. Congratulations. Thank you. And um, we're going to be seeing two scenes: one of you singing, followed by another one, just because I thought it was like a brilliant line. And it's with um, Julie Christie, who plays herself, shows up and just kind of notice her hair kind of shaggy, and then um, Henry Gibson introduces you to her, and it's just a very funny scene, very, and I'm sure it's all improv. It was all improv, it yeah, brilliant. yeah, great. So uh, let's watch Nashville. Okay, thank you. Miss Connie White. Hello, <laughs> Miss Connie. Hi, girl, how are you? Hi, how are you? You did so good, isn't she lovely, folks? Isn't she beautiful? Well, who do we have here? Brantley. What is your name, honey? Paul Harris. Paul Harris. He's 13, he said. And what's your name, honey? I want you to study real hard, because just remember, any one of you can grow up to be the president. Well, I like to go to Memphis, but I So just help me keep from sliding down some more When I tried to get back to him, I got lost on the way I'd like to start again tomorrow, but I, I don't know what day it is And I'd sure like to love you if you'd show me the way And just help me keep from sliding down some more Don't know what that is And I'd like to take you with me But I don't know where that is And I know there must be something Someplace and some way to live So just help me keep from sliding down some more Just help me keep from sliding down some more Some more I was talking about the Christie minstrels just this morning, and now we have Julie Christie here. So good to see you. Oh, yeah? Yeah, how are you? You won't sit down and stay for a while? thank you. Julie's well, a friend of the well, I hope your stay is very nice, and I hope you'll remember what film facilities we have here in Nashville. Oh, yeah, sure. Thank you. Thank Good you, to see you. Have a lovely Bye. 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 Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Nice to see you. Well, isn't that an honor? What a surprise. Julie Christie. I've been there a lot of those movies. Julie, Julie Christie. She's a famous star. You better be. She's won the Academy Award. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. She got it for one of those pictures. I don't know which one it was. She's done so many. Isn't it, Jim? Oh, they're both She's just got yeah. the worst right. sense of humor. No, she's lovely. She's oh, just a beautiful girl. Come on, Hayden. She can't even comb her hair.